as I mentioned in my opening, this is one of the, the distinct pleasures of uh, my job in any case, apart from working with Ira and Bill and, and Professors Gordon and Jackson. Um, but we're going to give out uh, the 2015 Rising Stars of Corporate Governance Award. Uh, this is the seventh annual uh, award from the center. And uh, we had a really wonderful uh, group of nominees this year. It was very challenging for the selection committee. Um, all were accomplished individuals. All had achieved a great deal uh, in what was a relatively short amount of time. But the, the, the committee really focused in almost uh, um, unanimously and, and automatically on, on four exceptional candidates to honor today. And so, um, Ira, you can sit down and I'm going to call them up and then we'll present the awards as, as uh, they come up. The first uh, is Richard Fields. Uh, where's Richard? Um, Richard uh, is with the Tapestry Networks. Many of you probably know him from his work uh, in particular on SDX. He's an accomplished career already in legal background. He lectures at Harvard. Um, but what, the committee, what really stood out for the committee was his work with directors and uh, perhaps most importantly in his efforts to encourage engagement between directors and investors. So Richard, congratulations. I'm going to give Ira your award if you'll give me it. Next, I'd like to invite up Miriam Omi from uh, uh, Legal General and Investments in the United Kingdom. Uh, Miriam is the head of sustainability there, and uh, I'll try to make a very quick remarks on her, what really stood out for the selection committee through her leadership, uh, coordinated and led a campaign to promote the benefits of improving corporate governance and investor stewardship in Japan, which I believe is playing out as we speak, right? And um, uh, I, a funny note, I was speaking with Miriam yesterday and I asked her, why'd you do this? And she said, I got frustrated. And so that gives you a sense. She went out and is, is making a very real impact now. So join me in congratulating Miriam Omi. And uh, last but not least, certainly, is Nermeen Shihata, who is recognized in a joint uh, award with uh, her colleague, Ahmed Abdel Magid. Uh, Ahmed could not be here, so Nermeen is here to receive the uh, recognition on, on both uh, of their parts. Uh, Nermeen is a visiting assistant professor in the Department of Accounting at the American University in Cairo, uh, and is uh, recognized for all of her contributions on the study of corporate governance uh, particularly in the Middle Eastern region, uh, but most in particular for her work that she and her colleague uh, did in launching the Corporate Governance Club at the university, the first student-based corporate, corporate governance club uh, in Egypt, which is now up and running and expanding, as I understand it. So with that, I'd like to ask everyone to congratulate, congratulate Nermeen. Um, now, realizing that we're, we're standing between lunch, I did want to give each, each of them, Richard, Miriam, and Nermeen, a, a moment to, to say a brief word. Hello, thank you. Um, and, then, um, and then I will uh, um, come back for some closing remarks, unless you have any you'd like to add. One moment. Uh, Richard? I'll be brief. It's just what a pleasure to uh, uh, have the honor to be recognized with this year's recipients in this center and those that have won in the past. Uh, particularly excited to see what happens as we bring more data to the questions that we're all focusing on. So thank you so much. Let me just say, no, please, Ira. This is the best part of the show. It really is. Just think, this is great. So congratulate you and thank you for coming this long way. Miriam. Um, thank you very much for the award. I'm very honored to be here. Um, as Marcel said, I was frustrated, and I think at some point in corporate governance, you have to say this is not good enough, and you have to take a step further. But 
One thing I want to say is the importance of collaboration among institutional investors. Um, even though each one of us may be big compared to other investors, if you don't collaborate together, we can't really push for good progress. And I think that's what we achieved in Japan. So I'd like to say that uh, this is something that we should uh, keep doing, uh, not see each other as competitors, but somebody, but as collaborative bodies to push for good governance and for good economies um, globally, including Japan. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Nermeen. Um, just I'd like to thank the advisory board for selecting me and Ahmed, um, among others, for the 2015 Rising Star Award. It's really our pleasure to receive such a prestigious award from Columbia University. Thank you so much. So I'm sure you'll all join me one more time in congratulating this year's recipients and uh, to the many uh, nominees that, uh, uh, again, were outstanding individuals. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Um, we have a lunch break now. There's lunch in the back of the room. Uh, I invite you to help yourselves to relax, get some fresh air, see the campus if you'd like. Um, at 1.30, we have uh, the comptroller of the city of New York, Scott Stringer. And um, please be sure to be back for that because that's a conversation you won't want to miss. <laughs>